Welcome to Sir Emraku. Today I'll be showing you how to build a mono green ramp deck. Start off with lands. I played 24 basic forests so they can easily be searched for. I start with the mana accelerators. First up, we've got Karametris Acolyte. Very good mana accelerator, especially with cards like Leatherback Baloth, which has three green symbols in it. Sassel and Godspeaker. If you are hand packed with big creatures, this card can add quite a lot of mana to your mana pool. Elvish Mystic, just a very solid mana accelerated, just for just one mana. Very important in a deck like this. Play four of these. Ah, oh, play three, apparently. Arbor Elf. In this deck, it's exactly the same as Elvish Mystic, but it's just important as it. As it. Play two of these. Magus of the Vineyard. Very powerful that gives all players mana acceleration in green, which means unless your opponent is playing green, it will not it will not help them as much as you. Very powerful. Rampart Grove just a sort of land search card for just two mana, using many decks. Sky Shroud Claim, very good as it searches for two forests. They come into play untapped, effectively making this only two mana instead of four. Very, very powerful. Into the wilds. Good card that only gets you more cards in hands, but it also if your top card is the lands, then you may put it on the battlefield. Very powerful. Finally, Ranger's Path. Not as good as Skyshell Claim, but still very useful. Okay, let's go on to the not huge creatures, just cheaper creatures. First up, we've got Deli Recluse. If you've got a slow start, this card can stop flies and all creatures alike with its death touch ability. Leatherback Battle for 3 mana 4 5 is always going to be very useful and just very powerful, especially with cards like Karametra's Acolyte for Devotion. Then we have Yever's Nature's Herald, 2 green green, it's a flash. Green creature cards you have flash. Very powerful if you want to flash in cards like Magus of the Vineyard or big creatures that can just destroy their attackers. Very good. Then we have Bellowing Tangle Worm. Intimidate, other green creatures you know of Intimidate. If you've built up a big army, then you can just one hit kill your opponents unless they're playing green or artifacts, as it just can destroy them as they're all unblockable. Then we have Nessie and Asp. This is here because it's quite kind of cheap for a 4 5 5, but really want to get its monstrosity out. Very powerful, very good and sealed in Theros. Very good card. <clears throat> now, we'll, now we'll do a few instants and sorceries, etc. Like that. How of the Night Plaque. Six green, put a 2 2 green wolf token on power for each forest you control. Obviously, if you. Seven mana, that's seven wolves already. Just can overwhelm your opponents, very powerful. This usually is one win away of winning. Rancor, just a very famous card. Basically, if your enchanted creature dies, it just comes back and. Plus two, plus naught, and trample for one mana is very good. We have Lure of Play, a very interesting card. Four mana, play only if an opponent successfully casts a summon spell, that's a creature. Put a green creature card from your hand into play as though it was just played. So you can, on turn four you can get your biggest creatures out and just crush your opponents. Very good. White Sizing Winds, very funny card. Eight green, instant creature you control, get plus seven, plus seven. Obviously, if you've got that wolf army on, or just loads of creatures, giving them all plus 7-7 seven seven will surely win the game for you. Predatory Focus. You may have creatures you control do combat damage to defending player this turn as though they weren't blocked. So if you've built up enough damage to the creatures you have, this is a one-hit Keo. Sess and Tactics. One green. Strive. Got green more to cast for each target being on the first. Until then, to turn any number of target creatures, get plus one plus one and gain. Tap this creature, fights another creature. Obviously, you can take down their, um, cr all their creatures with your big creatures by making them fight. Very powerful. Commons with a dragon I have in this, that whenever a creature fights, something happens. And then we've got the big creatures. Rizal. Start off with a dust stair worm. Five green green. Trample. This one's foil. This is a nice solid 7-7 seven, seven trample. Very powerful. Force and Nature is quite fun. 2 and 4 green. Good for devotion. Trample during your upkeep. Pay 4 green. Or Force and Nature deals 8 damage to you. Well, 
6 mana 8-8 eight, eight tram was quite powerful and you should be able to pay that mana. Molograph Monstrosity, 4 and 3 green, trample, when it dies exile it and then return 2 creature cards at random from the graveyard to the battlefield. Well you won't have too many creatures so it's not going to be that random, hopefully there will be big creatures in your graveyard, very good card, 8-8 eight, eight, trample. Giant Alephage, 5 green green trample, when it deals common damage player put a token of it on the battlefield, which is very powerful. You just get an army of giant spiders, I think that is. Good card. Mythic Rare. Arm Reef Hydra. 4 green green, 5 5 trample. Whenever it lands, it's about a few control. Put, a one, put one counter on it. Then there's a forest, put two of them on it instead. Very good card, because this isn't just when you play. You can do Sky Shell Claim and already you can get 4 plus some sort of counter on it. You can easily get out of hand quickly. Palaka Worm. We all know this card, first pickable in draft. 4 and 3 green, 7 7 trample. When it's battlefield, you gain 7 life. When it's put in the graveyard, draw a card. Just a very solid card. Even when it dies, you still get advantage. Very good card. This is the card where it deals fighting things. When it's battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Whenever creature you control fights, put 2 plus 1 swan counters on it. Just a very good card. 4 5 dragon flying. Nice, take down a creature when it comes into play. Good card. Ancient Silverback, 4 and 2 green. Green, regenerate it, 6 5. Just a nice sword card that you can keep on um, bringing back. Very powerful. Plated Crusher, 4 and 3 green. Trample Hexproof. Hexproof makes it extremely powerful, as your opponents won't be able to deal with them. Very good card. Garrick's Ward, 5 green green, trample, play the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's a creature card. Very good card, can get your creatures out even faster, and just very powerful. Archetype Endurance, 6 green green, creature you can try with hexproof, creature you can try opponents, lose hexproof and can't gain hexproof. Very powerful, makes all your creatures immune to your opponent's spells. So that will be much harder to deal with, very powerful. Lastly with Ulamog's Crusher, one of the greatest commons I think of all time. 8 mana for an 8-8 eight, eight, Annihilator 2, I love that ability. It attacks each other fable. So whenever it attacks, your opponent sacrifices 2 permanents. It's an 8-8, eight, eight, so hard to deal with and you can just keep on getting rid of your opponents until they have no permanents on the field. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out. Please like, subscribe, comment on what you want to see in the future. But that's been a Mona Green Ramp Creature Deck. Thanks for watching. Peace out.